Hi, ready for your next adventure? I'm going to show you how you can pack your bag. Alright, so this is how you pack your bag. You categorize them into things that you would need immediately mm -hmm. and things that you can afford that you don't need uh, immediately. So things like the tent, the ground sheet, I wouldn't need them when I'm walking. Same goes for my dinner. I wouldn't need my gas stove. And I wouldn't need my clothes too. So what I would need when I'm moving will be emergency stuff like a lighter, a jackknife, string, a torchlight in case I rush into the night, and inside the pallet. This uh, and yeah, adapted to do any emergency repairs. So these items would be at the top of my bag. I will put it aside first because I will need them right now. So let's begin with putting all these items into the bag. So as I mentioned, these items will go to the bottom part of your bag. You also want to consider putting in the items which can be compressed. So we have the, the bag of clothes. If you can make it smaller, do so. So I need to visualize this bag of clothes would go to one side of the bag at the bottom but to one side. Why so? So that you can fit in your big tent into the other side of the bag. So I've got my tents right here, all the way to the bottom, and I've got my bag of clothes at the bottom. You can also put your stuff that is in, give it a good press. So next will be your fishing pot, which you wouldn't need when you're walking. Your gas stove, your burner, and your dinner. So, if you got a plastic bag, it will be good to keep your food in so that it's easier to search for them at the campsite. Don't tie a big knot because you don't want to waste the plastic. Right. This tub is interesting because you can use it for your campsite or it can also be used if you want to have a rest while walking. So do not take it too deep. What you can do is to fold this tub such a way that it fits about the width of your bag. But instead of putting it outside of your bag, so then inside of your bag because that's what you want. You want everything to be fit in your bag. There you go. Before you go any further, do a quick check. Fill your bag. Make sure that you don't fill any empty spaces. If there are, it just means that you have to push your things further in. Right, so I'm left with the essential items. Okay, here we go. So, you've got your first aid kit. It's an emergency item, but you don't necessarily have to put it right on top of your bag. As long as it is at a location where you can easily access it. So I have it right above of my dinner. So I will now strap my bag. 
the main compartment, cover it. We are left with the emergency items. Now, do take note that most bags nowadays have a top flap which has a compartment. So this is where you put in the essential items. So you can place in your cotton twine. It's always good to have a string handy when on the move. A duct tape in case of any shoe repair, for example. Insert repellent, a lighter, your jet knife, your torchlight, your headlamp, and a spoon. So that is it. We are left with two more items. Your water bottle and your rain cover. You will have to decide which part of the bag is the lighter part. So one good thing to do is to just carry your bag and fill. Okay? So from what I feel is that my right side feels slightly lighter. So I will just tap in my water bottle and I will then put my rain cover on the other side. You wouldn't want to have your items all wet in case of any rain. So what I've shown here is how you can pack your bag and this is a 40 liters bag which is suitable for a 2 or 3 days trip out. If you are just going for a one day trip, you probably need just a smaller 20 liters bag over here. But the principle of packing is still the same. So now let's rewind. Number one, separate your items between the essentials and the non essentials. As for the non essentials, further divide them into things that can be compressed and those that can't be compressed. So the non-essential compressible items will go right at the bottom and followed by the non-essential stuff but can't be compressed like your mess tins, your stoves, your canned foods will go to the middle of your bag. At the top part will be essential items like your first aid kit, your torch light, inside the talent and many other and, and other items. So that's it. This is how you pack your bag and you are ready for your next adventure. Take care and have fun.